spicy chili oil sauce and juicy fat pork dumplings. And I've got all the tips and tricks for how we get the filling and the folding just perfect. Okay guys, it's time for dumplings. When is it not time for dumplings? I love dumplings, it's like my favorite food group. <laughs> anyway, you can tell I'm very excited. Uh, we're gonna be making a Northern Chinese style dumpling today and we're gonna start off with some garlic chives. So let's talk through the garlic chives. This is what they look like and they add a really distinct flavor, kind of a mix between garlic and spring onion. So you can see these have a very flat leaf compared to the spring onion, which is round. Uh, so you wanna find these guys at your Asian grocer. If you can't get a hold of them, just use spring onion, but just add a little bit of grated garlic in there as well. Really worth seeking them out though. All right, so I just want some small little slices of these. Now for the pork mince, try to get a fattier version of pork mince. If you go with a really lean one, it won't be as juicy or as soft and tender. So add your garlic chives to the pork. And to that we want to add some sesame oil and then now we need to work on the filling texture. So this kind of northern Chinese style dumpling to me is a little bit more robust, uh, a bit chunkier, thicker, sturdier than your delicate Din Tai Fung kind of situation if that makes sense. Um, but we still want quite a bit of liquid in here because we want to make sure that our filling is nice and juicy. So we need to add some chicken stock. I'm going to add an egg as well. And then to give us the right kind of pop or firm texture with the filling, I'm gonna add a little bit of corn flour as well. And then we want a really decent pinch of salt in here. The salt's gonna help with the texture as well as the flavor. And then here's another tip for the filling. You wanna mix this vigorously for at least two or three minutes until your arm feels like it's actually gonna fall off. Not quite like that, but you get the picture. So you can see this is starting to come together. It's very sticky. Okay, so this is the situation that you're looking for. It's almost like a thick cake batter kind of texture. Okay, so now we're ready to fold our dumplings. And I'm using some homemade dumpling wrappers here. You can find the video on how to make these on my YouTube channel if you're interested. You can also use gyoza wrappers from your Asian grocery store. Uh, basically, you're looking for a wheat flour based round wrapper. Okay, so you wanna have quite a bit of filling in here. I want quite a chunky dumpling. And then if you're using store-bought wrappers, you're definitely gonna to need to do this. If you're using homemade ones, probably not because they're a bit more moist. But just grab a little bit of water and just moisten the edges. Fold the top over and then kind of fold and then pinch the sides in. Do the same on the other side and then pinch everything together really firmly at the top. Now I gotta say that even though it's a bit more of a pain to make your own dumpling wrappers, it actually makes the folding process a lot easier. I find that when I do this kind of shape dumpling with a store-bought wrapper, because they're a lot drier, it tends to crack and more easily sort of fall apart. So if you're having trouble with your store-bought wrapper, just do a simple fold over, don't worry about the pleating. Look at these little guys, look how cute they are. Oh, I get so excited about dumplings. Okay, so let's do dumpling sauce before we cook the dumplings. I'm gonna start off with some soy sauce and some vinegar. So I'm just using plain white distilled vinegar here. Now the traditional vinegar would be to use a Chinese black vinegar. It's really hard to get a hold of where I am, so I just use this one instead. But Obviously, if you can find it, you should add that one. And then this special guy over here, this is my homemade chili oil. You'll see how large the jar is because I just can't get enough of this stuff. You can find a video on how to make this on my YouTube channel. A lot of you guys have made it. I know you love it, which is awesome. Uh, but you can use any kind of chili oil you like. The key here is that this homemade one has heaps of beautiful spices in here, star anise, Sichuan peppercorn, cinnamon. And the key to using a chili oil like this is to make sure you're getting both like the chili powder sediment part as well as the oil itself. So if you have a look, when I take my spoon out, you can see lots of little spices and chili bits in there, not just oil. Now I like mine kind of fiery hot, so I'm gonna add quite a bit of this, but totally up to you how much you wanna add. And to that I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic and I'm just gonna grate that in. Oh, this dish packs so much punch with the chili and the pork and the garlic, but we're also gonna add some spring onion as well. Just give that a mix. Mm. Oh, that's got some kick. 
So because our dumplings are so chunky and robust, they're gonna take a little bit more technique to cook the filling perfectly, plus keep that wrapper the perfect texture as well. I'm gonna show you how we do that. You need to start off with some rapidly boiling water, lots of it, and then I also want you to keep on hand uh, some really cold water. You need two of those things. Now, dumplings go into the hot water first. And just while that water is coming back up to the boil, make sure you're gently agitating those dumplings, making sure that they're not sticking together or sticking to the bottom of the pan. Now what we're waiting for here are for these dumplings to just start to float up to the surface. So when you can see your dumplings start to float, they're going to pop up to the top of the water like this. Now I want you to add the cold water. Just a little splash, half a cup or so. So this is going to slow down the cooking process and the whole point of that is that if we left them to boil for long enough so that big chunky bit of filling cooks through then we run the risk of the wrapper on the outside overcooking and sort of disintegrating. So that is why we want to add the cold water. Now I'm going to let the water come back up to a boil again and then I'm going to add more cold water let the water come back to a boil and by then our dumpling filling should be perfectly cooked. All right, so these are looking good to me. I'm gonna get them straight out into a bowl. And now of course we want a beautiful bath of that amazing spicy dumpling sauce. And doesn't that just look like a little bowl of heaven? My goodness. Okay, let's have a look inside and see what our dumpling filling looks like. Oh, look at that, perfect, just with a beautiful whisper of that chili oil. Mm. Mm. The porkiness of that is so amazing and the garlic chives, you can taste everything in there, every little element in there, beautifully shining through and the texture, everything. Ah, so good. Mm, spicy. I think this is like the happiest I've ever been in my life. <laughs> if you've got any comments or questions pop them below and if you enjoyed the video why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one and that way you'll get notified every time i release a new video thanks guys Food.